Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we will be playing Terraforming Mars as usual, but the unusual thing about it is that we're playing it on BGA and not the Steam variant. Uh, this is not a live stream, um, so I'm just recording a game here uh, because I wanted to get a good setup for this uh, before doing live streams with it. Uh, of course, uh, I live streamed it once already because I was live streaming just Terraforming Mars on Steam and couldn't find another game. So I live streamed one on BGA, but my webcam was placed weirdly and stuff. So let's try it out like this first and let's see if we will uh, live stream it uh, more in the future. If you don't know, uh, BGA or Board Game Arena is a site on the internet where you can play all sorts of board games, so not only Terraforming Mars. In Terraforming Mars there is in beta, so it just released a few weeks ago uh, in beta. And yeah, let's hop into a game or let's try to search for a game. The good thing about not live streaming this but recording it is that I can also, like, if we were to wait for a long time, I could have cut this out, but we are not. Uh, we got a game immediately. And let's see what we get. Mm, so let me just check that everything's set up correctly. Yeah, I think that's nice, like that. Okay. So you see the map over here, you see your production board here, enemies a production board down here, also summary of both there. And then that's the initial research phase. So these are the two corps we got dealt and the cards. Immediately uh, not the most amazing starting hand. Um, thinking about mining guild with throwing a comet, that's the only combo I see here. Nothing for helium, more or less. Um, we could like pick search for life as well together with AGT and maybe draw into some science, but that's far off. Uh, with towing, I'd like to go for Nitromos as well. But that means that's four cards to 12. I only have 18 left. Cannot play towing. I can only pick up two cards if I want to play towing gen one. And that would mean probably these two cards. Um, not a great start. Maybe I'll just pick up these five and just chill in Gen 1, not do anything. To me, that seems like the best move. Let's try that. Also, you have a turn timer um, for each turn. And if you do your uh, moves quickly, it will add to your turn timer again. We will start off and we will just immediately. He's playing Saturn Systems, okay. Kept three cards only, okay. Uh, the only card I could play right now, Search for Life or Media Archives, don't want to do either of that, of course. Let's just pass immediately. Okay, he plays Immigration Shutters Gen 1. Definitely better than my start. Good production immediately. He also skips the second action. You see a lock uh, on the side here, which is quite useful. All right. Um, do we go further down the science route or do we pick building tax? I think uh, if we pick digital heating, we will likely get cupola back, which I like. So let's go for that. Let's cut interstellar colony ship from him. I am not intending to keep that. If we get back Lagrange, I'm keeping that, but I think we will get Cupola back. No, we got Lagrange back. Okay, let's keep that. So probably deeper heating and Lagrange for me. Yep. Let's buy these two. Yeah, with this turn timer, I, I set it up quite fast. Um, so two minutes is the maximum turn timer you can have. If you do your turns quickly, you get time back and then you can go up to two minutes. This is like really, really fast. So fast paced as hell. I think I'll play throwing a comet down here. 
Titanium Mine, not a good card for him. Got some good development going on. And AMC. Wait a moment. I don't have any titanium pro. Okay, yeah, cancel that move. Okay, now we know he has AMC. So no reason to get any titanium pro here. Instead, he just SP powers. Okay, and he also didn't play titanium mine. Um, yeah, let's do throwing a comet on the titanium down here. To get some steel prod. Of course, uh, we'll also get some. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I will play any of these this turn. Could play deep for heating for one more um, development, but I'd rather wait and see if I can find a power hungry card. Now he played Titanium Mine. Let me check whether the recording is all working correctly. Yeah, it looks like it. Perfect. I think I'll pass here. So definitely not the most amazing start for me. He's in a much better position, I think. But nothing that cannot be... Ooh, okay. Uh, I fear we get, we'll get hit by big asteroid, but research outpost is amazing. Of course, we're keeping that. That's already three science tags now. On the way to AGT, to uh, place that on Pavonis to get more steel prop. Let's see what we get. These are not great, um, Heather most likely, but there's no heat in the game yet, so unlikely that I'll keep it. Um, we want to cut. What do we want to cut? He doesn't have, he only has one space tag, so satellites is not that dangerous. I'd rather cut the power pot, probably. Yep, and there's ants. We'll probably only keep research outpost here. Yep. Yeah, you can, like, there's a lot of tool tips you can get by clicking on stuff or hovering over other stuff. Uh, so it's relatively beginner friendly. And um, there's also more info than in the Steam version. For example, you can click on here and see the score, which is quite nice. Makes it much more competitive, of course. Let's get this down on Pavonis. Uh, now we have three titanium, and that uh, means that I will probably play the Grange. I could wait another draft and see if we uh, draw like Mars or Olympus. But the thing is, I have so much money left over. I'd rather now play it now and hope that we draw into something that we can play. And yeah, let's not overpay. Birds. Okay, that's not something you can play at the moment, um, but it's still a good card. Okay, there goes Cupola City. I feel like the initial city placement is something that uh, tells you whether you're playing a good play, uh, facing a good player or not. Like. With this being blocked, I'd 100% take this spot. Okay, he cancelled that Cupola City move and he's playing Big Asteroid. Okay, means we're going to lose our plants, uh, which is a bit annoying because we could use those for Nitro Moss, but it's fine. Uh, we can now instead play deep well. Uh, probably don't want to. Probably want to wait until next gen. We could play it now to get the bonus heat prod uh, at minus 24 degrees. But I want, I want to spend some steel on it and not play it just with money, I think. Yeah, especially because we don't have any other building tags on hand. Let's pass. 
pass as well. What you can also do in this version of the game is advanced pass. You can do that while your opponent is playing. And that will just mean that once he's done with his turn, you will automatically pass. Oh my god, okay. That's nice. That's the power hungry card we were looking for. That's best case scenario, and we will get another science tech back. Oh my god. Okay. Um I feel like I need to pick protected tabs. Even though that's another science tech. Yeah, now we t uh, pick advanced alloys. So we play advanced alloys into AI central. Advanced alloys into deep well into AI central. Didn't get the other science tech back. Um, let's calculate this. We have 34 left plus uh, 9 after advanced alloys, so that's 43. That's 30. 43. Yeah, like 28 plus 12, that's 40. Okay, we have enough to buy all of these cards. Still get all of this done. Let's just hope we don't get raided. So yeah, there's the advanced pass. I could theoretically press that now. That would mean that after his turn, I automatically pass. Oh, he played. He played AI, IO Mining Industries. That's dangerous. Didn't use, yeah, he did. Okay, he used all of the set here. Okay, so let's get advanced alloys down and skip. So I can do deep well into AI next. Okay, he passed. Deep well. AI. Let's activate it. Draw some cards. Not the best draws, but also not the worst. It's at least a few building tags that we can use for builder. Probably will play industrial microbes next gen. But we'll see what we draw. Okay, let's pass here. Extra valuable worth um, advanced alloys down and card draw, so we can make use of the steel. Okay, that's a GIA. Let's take that. I think we're cutting lava flows. Could also go full nuts and take strip mine. You know what? Let's go full nuts. We have peroxide power for it. Um, this costs 30 together. We have strip mine harvest. We have 35. So we now need to, if we get GIA and strip mine. Need to sell one card, but we draw one with uh, we draw two with AI Central. No strip mine getting played. We can maybe just sell industrial microbes. Let's see. This is this is idiotic, I think. <laughs> but we have card draw, and without prelude, the game is going on for a long time. So I feel like it's not nice. We drew another science tech. I feel like it's not too stupid to do this. And now with AI, we just need to draw into enough space and building tags to spend all of these minerals on. Oh god, there's another two titanium probe. Uh, we need to remember, this guy still has AMC on hand. Yeah, maybe the strip mine wasn't that smart. Okay, he cannot play it this gen anymore. So I'm playing Peroxide. Selling Cartel probably to make this happen. Where does the Corporate Stronghold go? 
and why does it play forward stronghold? That's a good question. That's a weird placement. Yeah, I would 100% go there. Go there. Okay, cancel the move again. Let's look at the score for a second. It's still quite even. Is there two points uh, at the moment? And yeah, he played asteroid mining and corporate stronghold. Where does it go now? We saw urbanized area earlier, right? Yeah, now he plays it there. Maybe he intends to do urbanized area in between. Maybe he has knocked this urbanized uh, commercial district. Uh, let's sell cartel and skip. That way we can do peroxide into strip mine. Yep. There she goes. And then that's it for the turn. So we need one more science tag. You have six. You've played four. Okay, there's the next science tag, and it's an amazing one. That's our eighth building tag as well for builder. Great, just great. Um, probably we'll cut small animals here. Let's see if he plays Soletta. It's Gen six already, but the heat is like. Lacking behind like crazy. I think I'll keep MATLAB. Shuttles could prove useful with card draw. Um, yeah, let's keep the, the discount. We have the power point for it. With industrial microbes. We'll expect to get hit by AMC now. Don't think he sold the card in between. Oh, beam from a thorium asteroid. Okay. This guy has a lot of Jovian techs. I haven't seen any Jovian techs so far, I think. I haven't passed him any. And now he goes for Cupola. Where does that go? Over here. Interesting city placements, my friend. All right, let's draw. Mining rights is amazing. How many building techs should they? He has three cards on hand, okay. Place this down here. Yeah, you can also, like, you have to, you have the choice between uh, doing these actions one by one, so you can also, oh, he didn't use AMC on me. Okay, that's nice. I think I can get, like, Three, that's nine, 27. I think I can get away by playing industrial microbes into MATLAB to get one more MC pro out of it because we're at eight tags, now we're at nine tags. And now we're at 10 tags. And then next gen we do search for life standard tech AGT. And that's it. Also can fund mm, builder next year. It's at 17 money prop. 
probably I could have, instead of playing mining rights, industrial microbes this gen, probably should have just played MATLAB and the science tags because now I don't have any building tags left. Like adapted lichen with all of this card draw. Uh, we just hope to draw into like insects or an array. These two, ice cut nothing is too far off. I think we have three oceans on hand now. So this costs seven twenty twenty, and we have seven MC left. That's not enough for builder. Let's draw first. I think there's no rush to claiming Builder anyways. Uh, he cannot claim Builder. He cannot claim Mayor. He cannot claim Gardener. He's only close to Terraform. Uh, only close to Mayor, basically. Mm -hmm. So let's get these science tags down. Ah, and by the way, BGA is free. So I have a premium membership, so I can open unlimited tables and play as many games as I want at the same time, because you can also use this website to play asynchronously or like turn-based games where you take your turn and then the opponent has like two days to do his turn and just goes around like that. And so for that, premium membership is really nice. But if you just want to play this with a few friends, one game at a time, uh, it's completely free, so that's nice. So definitely give this a try if you want to play um, Terraforming Mars, not only on uh, with Steam. Get AGT down, and then we can play Adapted Lycan afterwards. Okay, now we get AMC'd, gender, delayed by a gender. So he wanted definitely. Uh, he really wanted to play uh, beam, and I think cupola was it last gen. Still sucks, but uh, at least it was delayed by a gen. Let's get adapted like and down, and then that's it. Don't think I want to play comet right now. Although I could, right? He has three plans. Ah, no, I would need to overpay. It's twenty. Uh, it's eighteen, and yeah, I would need to pay with five titanium. So let's skip this. Maybe he makes a mistake and um, takes a heat bump next gen, and then I can comet and get the second bonus heat bump. Comet Subterranean Reservoir opens up the possibility to play Nitro Moss, which is nice. Probably open next gen by playing Protected Hapstone. Wow, okay. Um... I think I like Ecozone the most. And your quantum looked pretty nice as well. Take virus. You can't really do anything with Toll Station, and I have protected Hap, so Prioritas. It really isn't that great for him. He doesn't know that yet, so maybe he will pick it up. Quantum Extractor over Insulation for sure. I won't take Prats, but I will take these three. Should be careful not to overbuy. But by buying a few cards, I can get Planner and Builder quite soon, quite easily. He only has four cards on hand, so he should be careful not to underbuy. 
because he's got like an insane um yeah that's that not a bad greenery for sure maybe he's trying to go for gardener but i will lead off next gen and claim planner ahead of him he skipped his second action okay that's also one action done Some heat prod, it's not too bad. Probably will get this down, especially because it's just one steel. Energy saving. Okay. Quite strong energy saving. Still 13 titanium. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, let's just get the carbonate down for one steel. And skip again. Now we also have enough heat prop that we get a bump next gen and could even uh, do comet bump next gen for the bonus bump. I think he doesn't have any card draw. Yeah, he doesn't have any card draw yet, so his titanium prod plan was really risky he has only three cards on hand if he doesn't draw into like space targets then he's done for and he will end the game with like a million titanium left over okay he passed um Should play Quantum Extractor, Claim Builder, and place a Comet here on the two cards, I think. That's the plan. That way I can open next gen by claiming planner I, I mean there's no rush for planning planner i want to take the bonus heat bump nice now it's just four titanium i'll still take the two cards i have such a good economy Get rid of his plants, confirm the draw. Lycan is not playable because I don't have money. Yeah, let's play protected tabs. Again, there's no rush to claim planner. We take the bonus heat bump and draw with AI Central at the start of next gen, and then we have time to claim planner. He cannot immediately claim Gardener. He can definitely not claim Planner, and he's far off of Terraform as well. So yeah, we can pass here. And we should soon also fund Scientist, probably. Because otherwise he could fund Banker or Miner. And even though I also have a lot of fraud, I think Miner is super dangerous for us. He cannot get that. Again, because I think he will not find enough targets for his titanium. He's already at 20 titanium. That's 60 cash. So I'm quite sure he cannot spend that all. Seems like he's got a difficult decision to uh, make. Okay, what do we get? Fusion power or mangrove? I think we're going for mangrove. Honestly, I'm even taking an equatorial magnetizer that comes back. 
Same reasoning here, taking crop resort, it's the steel target. Yeah, and we got equatorial magnetizer back. Seems like we take everything here. Just these steel cards are basically free. All right, um, we take the bonus heat bump. And we claim planner. Now we can do that because we bought four, four cards. He can only bought two cards. He's only at five cards. Takes a heat bump. Okay. fusion power what's the point it's looking like okay we are in the lead by a bit um i think i want to get a greenery out of my oceans and then play ecozone and then play lichen so let's start with optimal air breaking And then let's play Ice Asteroid. Yep. And you can play subterranean reservoir and convert. Play physics complex, okay. And GHG factories. Interesting combo because one is geared towards a rush and the other one is geared towards a long game. Subterranean reservoir over here, of course, gives him a good conversion spot, but it's still the best spot for us to place that ocean. Place it here. And it's not like he has a bunch of conversions lying around. I think I'm playing geothermal and equatorial and overpaying on both. But let's take a central first. Should have done this at the start. Thought about it. Mm. Okay, not the most interesting draws. Don't think I'll play Moho area. Uh, let's overpay on this. And same thing for Equatorial Magnetizer. Yeah, you can freely choose the amount of um, steel you want to use or titanium but it always uh, shows you the optimal amount first and also highlights it red when you are overpaying which is quite nice for beginners we are at five percent oxygen so next gen we can also play shuttles should not play it this gen that's fine uh, not Doing more than that, I think. Could play Mohol area, honestly. On the steel up here. Or even on the plants over here. Yeah, let's do it on the plants over there. I don't need more steel prod. Well, let's do it, let's do it here so we can access the South Ocean Walk. Yeah. And then that's it. Also means that we'll get more heat bumps next gen. He's got 27 titanium. You really need to be careful with passing him any space sex. Of 
For example, Miranda Resort. Let's cut that. That's a pretty good one for him. I mean, he only has one Earth tech, but it's free for him. It grants him another uh, MC prod from his ability and an extra point because of Io. And who knows, maybe he has another um, Jovian mode on hand. Oh my god, herbivores or algae? I think it's algae. Because he has no plant prod yet. And algae is immediately playable. Energy tapping, let's cut that. Don't care if the cloud seeds me and we get herbivores back, and I don't understand why. Um, not keeping energy tapping. Let's just keep these two. We have enough cards to play anyways. Activating physics complex. CEOs on physics, not bad. But no real reason to do that now. He could just wait and see, maybe he draws um into what's it called media group okay we fished out another jovian which is great let's fund scientist i think Is that an SP city coming? Oh yeah, it is. Yep, that's not a good idea. Uh, I'll place my eco zone there. Oh, he has plantation. Okay. Still not a great idea. I'll place eco zone here. That gives me access to this spot for a greenery. It's quite nice. And eco zone was the card I wanted to play anyways. So I can get algae and lighten down. Start with Lycan. Need to remember to play Shuttles this gen. Okay. Whatever. Grants me a conversion next gen. Let's play shuttles. He passed, so we can do equatorial magnetizer. We can take our heat bumps. Do the second one, please. Thank you. Oh, nice from Ross. Yeah, nearly forgot about that. Need to play that as well. Mm. Yeah, that should be it. The only cards we are left uh, that are left that we can play are Virus and Drop Resort, and no reason to play either of those. That's so let's pass. Start off the gen by converting here. Thing is we're at seven percent oxygen then. And he can just SP one. That's uh, Jesus. Um, wow. I'm inclined to pick Marzi because of scientists, but I think imported nitrogen is just insane.
Yeah, let's pick important nitrogens. Also, space tech. He would love that. It's having a discount. Of, oh, mining expedition. Let's take that over solar power. Because uh, with that, we can get the bonus button pretty cheaply. Okay, we got Mazu back. I don't know what's happening. And Archibacteria is dead. So let's pick these three. And I'm really happy with that. He picked Hired Raiders over Mazu while having two cards on hand. Don't know about that, my friend. All right, let's SP Greenery here, not SP Convert, and play Mining Expedition. All right, Got the bonus bump, perfect. We can even get bonus ocean this gen with GIA and our two heat bumps, but we need to stall him out first. I had raiders. Also depends on how much money we have. We can just afford GIA at the moment. He took two steel from me. What? Why? I have 25 steel. I mean, maybe he needs it, but still, I would 100% take money there. That hurts way more. All right, let's draw two. Nice one. That makes it way easier to play GAA. We also fished out another Jovian, which is great. We already now fished out Methane, Vesta, Callisto, and Miranda Resort. No multiplier so far, but just fishing out these uh, expensive space tags is good enough. Okay. Ganymede Colony. There's another multiplier. That's scary, but again, I don't see the reason why you would play that now. I think I'm just risking it here and play Ice Asteroid. Uh, Asteroid. And skip. I don't want to remove my own plans, please. I could have picked up lava flows earlier. Nope, protected body. Okay. That's nice. I could still be demos. Actually, in a point lead at the moment. All right now it's GIA time. Taking these two oceans, I think, or these two. Let's take these two. Get the little bit of money back. No plant removal, please. And convert and take the last ocean up here. It's the second to last ocean, actually. Okay. Red suits. Now we're in the point lead again after that play. He 
It still doesn't have any plan prop, which is annoying. Uh, we are definitely overpaying. Let's cycle out Callisto penal mines. Oh, Decomposers is an amazing draw. It's a target for imported. Takes a heat bump, so we get to mangrove. No real reason to play that though. I think I'll skip here and I'll actually pass. Don't know whether I want to place to play anything here. Like I could uh, help it was myself, but I want, don't want to do this this gen. I want the plan pro still. Could do it next gen because I will place a few greeneries, at least two uh, naturally, and then mangrove as well. Mm, let's play warms for one more plan pro because that will make it easier to get two greeneries down. And microphone decomposers, of course, because then we're 14 plants conversion here, 16, and then here. Um, nine plus seven is 16, so we can play drop resort this gen. And no matter by how much, we're always overpaying here. Right, yeah, that's 13, 16, perfect. Perfect amount to finish off the heat track if he doesn't take one. And let's pass. Points, I'm five points ahead. Only five points ahead in this situation because he's got a million card points from his multipliers. Yeah, 23 card points, crazy. Cannot fund any other awards at the moment. Six versus eight tiles. Yeah, he even got more tiles than me. Olympus Conference is a good one. Mars you in hand and Scientist funded. Not that we need it for Scientist. A 10 versus two tags. Oh, Byron Hansen is a crazy good card. Thirty Wars and Birds on hand. Mangrove and Virus as well. Let's cut, let's actually take tax trust power. It's three MC for a point basically because you can pay for it with steel. So I'd say we pick these three cards. If he doesn't, Take a heat bump here, we just take the last remaining two. Yeah, you also saw see how many cards were drawn already and how many discarded. It's really interesting this whole um UI. A lot of info. And you can set these up as you want. Like you can hide your green cards if you want to. You can show them in a stack, like I had it right now. You can even show them in a grid, so you can see all of them. Or then the synthetic thing, where it shows you just the basic info. Um, yeah, I often like to have all of my blue cards in a grid, so I can see, uh, like just by looking at them, how many resources are on them. Then the same with the events, you can show them as well if you want to. Yeah, he's activating physics complex. And yeah, he takes a heat bump. Makes sense. Take one as well. No, wait, no. Probably won't take one. Uh, let's undo that. Until you confirm your turn, you can undo it completely, which is quite nice. 
That's no, 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 no. Okay. I wanted to say that instead place two greeneries, but then I remembered I had Verdon was in hand. So yeah, let's take the last heat bump and play viral enhancers. Cycle out power grip. Uh, yeah, we want to cycle out power grid. Wait, no. want to play Olympus Conference first. Okay, let's do that first. Again, our overpay here. So Olympus Conference into Viral. Just cut power grid. I guess it's useless. Can discard that. I'm playing viral enhancers. Just draw one with Olympus Conference first. Mine is useless. Now whatever. But let's confirm that we want to discard a card, discard hackers. Okay, we drew Absolute Garbo, unplayable and useless card. Let's do this in a grid again, no, in, a grid, uh, in a synthetic. Yeah, let's do synthetic. Also shows you your, um, looks a bit weird in my opinion, but shows you the uh, resources on them, which is quite nice. He just funded Miner. Okay, yeah, makes sense. And SP City now up there makes absolutely no sense. It should go here. But okay. Um, now it's time for Herbie Wars. Need to. Uh, let's undo again. If we can avoid it, let's not do it yet. Let's do AI Central. I want to see whether he plays a uh, card, uh, plays Plant Prop. Okay, these are useless. Let's take the last heat bump. Of course, he now knows that we have Herbie Wars on hand, but maybe he's got a really good land protection card that he still wants to play. Trees or kelp farming or something like that. Ah, okay. Well, he has zero cards on hand, so obviously he doesn't have anything like that. Is that he just passes? Okay. Then we're playing Herbal Wars, no matter what. And hit my own. Plant Pro. Because that with the green whole green combo is going to be insane. And with the plant pro we got here. And then over here. Yep, that was my turn. Another one over there. Can we maybe end this, actually? Kind of looks like we can end it. But if we can, we will do that. Take the spot next to the ocean. Ah, uh, wait, no, 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 no. We need to place one more ocean. Let's undo this. Um, yeah, now we need to do this again. Go here. So I'll place an ocean here and then her was over here on the card. But whatever. Then we'll do water hydrogen. We'll take. I'll take. Yeah, I got the plant when playing mangrove that will give me enough to get another greenery. Um, doesn't really matter. Let's place it on eco zone. 
Prends le tambour. Ok, then let's do SP Ocean. All from that max now. Then let's do Mangrove. Mangrove over here. And yeah, do all of this stuff, whatever. Draw a card. Confirm. Now we can convert again. And we will convert down here. That makes of ending this gen makes the city even worse. So yeah, really not a good idea to place the standard project city up there. Okay, let's play. Do we play another event? Maybe. Let's do Equatorial Magnetizer. Let's sell cards that we cannot play. This, this. Uh, methane definitely won't be played. So, as well. We don't have media uh, media group, so playing virus or selling it is the same. So let's just play media archives, get our money. And the only way of getting a greener here is SP1. So let's go here. Forming complete. Yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Even have standard tag. That's quite nice. So now we do tag stress into magnetic field gen. Ah, uh, we overpay. <laughs> forgot. Undo that. Take field gen, please. And overpay. Because we're not winning minor, anyways. We can just. He's got 42 titanium after this gen, 46 minerals in total. Uh, we have 18 MC left. What's the best play we can do? That's 11 plants. Uh, 13, 14, yeah, Tundra Farming is the best, 14 because of viral enhancers, and then we can convert here and get another greenery, that makes uh, viral the best. And yeah, not playing birds though. So let's activate search for life. Solar wind power, okay. And so the remaining cards. So yeah, the game appeared to be relatively quick, uh, but it's gen 12, but it goes quite quickly in VGA, I feel like. Um, so that was that. And we could look at the store, uh, score already, but let's be surprised. But I'm quite sure we won. Like he just fumbled the last gen completely by playing these cities and stuff. Yeah, let's convert. Go here and then here. Yeah, whatever. And here. And whatever, and that was it. So yeah, now it adds the points up. And we win by 30 points.
wow i didn't think i'd win by 30 points i was it was relatively close in the gen before he was maybe even a few points ahead um but then yeah he fumbled the last gen basically did nothing just placed that one city and i don't know and he also had like zero cards on hand so yeah it like going for such a heavy jovian strategy such a high investment without any card draw is always risky and if you then also pair that with a really bad ground game then that's just a recipe for disaster so yeah um but i wanted to show you bga uh, or the tm version of bga today and i hope you enjoyed this and again it's completely free to play this on bga so if you want just check it out uh, i'll leave a link to bga in the description and yeah until then i'll see you in the next video i hope and have a good one